Hey everyone, SMG here, welcome back to another video, and we're going to be checking out making our own animated show by Glitch. So yeah, this is basically how they made Meta Runner and stuff, and yeah, this came out yesterday, but I didn't have a chance to check it out, so now we're checking out, like, a day late. So yeah, let's do this right away, make sure you subscribe to Glitch, make sure you watch the original video, share the video, this video you're watching right now with your friends. And make sure you like subscribe, ring the bell. Only 7.5% of people are subscribed, and 90% are not subscribed. So please, please subscribe. Hopefully, we can get 2.5k before 2021. So like, we can get like, just need 15 more subs before. That would be that's our goal to get 15 subs before 2021. Please, <laughs> and um. If you want to like support the channel even more, you can also become a member and join and get some exclusive stuff. Anyways, let's get into this right here, right now, in 3, 2, 1. This is a long video, so let's do this. It's getting spoilers from Season 2. Come on, Kevin. We're doing the animation. <laughs> it's Baldi. Baldi was not in here. So today we have a very special video where we actually want to take you through the entire journey of how we actually make Meta Runner. We've, th there's, there's a lot of uh, crazy stuff that goes on to actually make all this happen and a lot of uh, screw ups, mm -hmm. a lot of funny memes that happen along the way and we really want to show you guys inside Glitch Productions, inside our company on Whoa. how we make these episodes. So many people. Life. It's going to be a really, really fun and interesting look into Luke and my life and uh, exactly what we do here. Now, if you don't know what Meta Runner is, it's a story that follows a girl named Tari. Here she is, she has a robotic arm, and she plays games really, really fast. <laughs> but she can also go into video games. Now, with that's, these powers, this... That's always amazing. Blue, I think it's blue-collared uh, bad guy. White collar. White blue, collar? Blue collar is... White collar. Okay, white collar <laughs> blondie man named Lux. He wants Tari's ass, and he goes after her. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he's dead. We're using that. Yeah, so season two. Uh, just finished releasing. You can go watch all of it. Season one, season two is out now. Yep. But yeah, let's let's get to it. Both so seasons are really let's good. Start off with the artists, um, and let's see the journey of Meta Runner. Let's go. Everything started in my bedroom. Uh, I started SMG4 there. I was just a little bit <laughs> just doing these dumb memes. The cake uh, is a lie. Was the first video. 20, 2016. That's when I got a million subs. That's when my brother came around and was like. Luke, we're gonna we're gonna go on an adventure together. We moved to the back of our house. It was very dirty, very very cramped. But as you can see, it's it, was, it got we got by. We, yeah, and it, it was all you needed at the time. Like it was nice. Luke and me on like our two crappy little PCs. Yeah. Um, I would just be writing. I'd be scripting at the time, and Luke would be making the videos. We, your, your little brother duo. This was what, what, what? the was first the Hobo Bros video. video. Uh, they invited me down to their their place to do my first day of orientation. So. I rock up at their uh, place, not not knowing what to expect, and it's just this house in like the suburbs. So, hello, I'm Jared, and I'm the Hi, Jared. manager at Glitch Productions for Meta Runner. I'm also an animator, a concept artist. I'm everything. You know, I just do a bit of everything. So, so uh, <laughs> I hired, just, just, uh, the text just appears. End of 2017, I believe. Um, and yeah, Kevin and Luke were like, "Do you want to come down?" The come, <laughs> please come work with us. He moved into a, another. An actual house where we start, started to hire people, um, and they came in. They were like, "Why are we working in a house?" It was strange rocking up at your house for the first day of work because we, our, our studio was your house at the time, and then we had all of the uh, the computers and whatnot in the back room. And so there was about nice. four of us at that stage, I think. When he says house, he means and then, uh... house, not our. We had two houses. We had our parents' house. That's one Jared was in. This is a different house. All right, just clarify. So 2016 was the parents' house, and now they got their own house in 2018. <laughs> so my name is Matthew Peckham. I am a art hi Matthew, mocap artist, character designer, and whatever else you guys need me to do. Uh, they sent me around, and then there's Kevin and Luke and two others of their uh, team sitting out the back in this little area, and that was how Glitch started. So I'm just sitting in their living room with like my PC set up, doing or doing this drawing for them. Well. This is it. This is our old house slash old office. Uh, it's our parents' house. It's our That's parents. what it means. I guess we'll start off with Jared. So yeah. So imagine Jared. Jared was sitting right here, working away. 
Now he's been replaced by this bag of popcorns and chips. But let us show Rip. you the old Rip. VIP glitch studio. This it is it. Is. Welcome to the office. <laughs> you see what work right here. There used to be a line of two two tables here. This is where Luke and I, I sat. Sit right here and just work. And I would sit right here and I'd work. And uh, that's it. It's not much, but this is where it all started. It's honest yep. work. It's honest work. <laughs> In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Hired me by coming over to AIE, which was the academy I was studying at at the time. And um, yeah, they came and had a presentation showing us off SMG4 and the project they wanted to start, which was Meta Runner. Meta Runner mm -hmm. basically was conceptualized by our little sister. She just drew, the, like, we're making, we're coming up with characters for SMG4, I think. I think I was, we asked our sister <laughs> this, this. That's when he got his like, oh, fingers in the door. This. Then she drew this little robotic girl in, like, this little doodle in her notebook. We saw it, we were like, I like, I like this drawing. Yeah, yeah and so from there, we, I don't know, we, we were just like, let's go for it. Oh my god, so much anime! Started it. Ah! We had zero experience in animation. From there, we, we started making episode one. We gathered a team of artists. Um, initially, we thought we could do it with only like three artists. Oh, even one. Kevin really wanted one. Yeah. Well, I remember when I first started at Glitch, the idea was that we were going to have, what was it, 10 minute episodes with one animator over three or four weeks, I think it was. Um, mm -hmm. But that was impossible. Mm -hmm. So now it's, what is it? It's four weeks? Four weeks with five animators? Four animators? And yeah, so there's the full time animators, and then there's oh, uh, nice. who work sort of partially, uh, sorry, part time on animation. And yeah, it's it's absolutely insanity that we were trying to think. That's of, amazing. Uh, That's so cool. One animator. That'd weeks, be so cool to uh, work for them. Thing. Honestly, we tried to use really bizarre methods. We try to achieve things here that other companies don't entirely do. Oh my so god, look at them! We look for the, the, the faster solution whilst also creating a product that's as good, if not better than other uh, studios. Oh, look at their little group meeting! Amazing. So cute! Uh, just every day we're trying to push the technology to make really, really cool stuff that the internet uh, can enjoy. And, like, Basically, we, we want to be an anime company. We want to be an anime company, that's what we want. For the Western audience. Yeah. Hello, Theo! <gasps> oh my god, it's her! <laughs> Uh, my name is Robin Barry Cotter, and uh, voice of Theo. Voice of Theo, and I'm also a staff writer for SMG4 Glitch Productions. Uh, Glitch hired me because I blame everything on David. For the clapping of my ass cheeks. Uh, David, <laughs> is the, uh, David is the voice of Lux. Uh, David called me up and was like, "They need a voice for a little boy," and you were the first person I thought of. And I'm like, "Thanks, thanks for that." Usually, anything that like David would throw at me be something like fan arty or fan dubbing. I'm just like, okay, whatever, I'll do this for you. And then I go into the studio like, oh, it's actually legit. Wow, this is this is actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> what we're making is is leagues and bounds better than what oh I. Oh my God! <laughs> Look, and so that is so cool. As well is is amazing. Like, it's incredible to see what we can actually what we can do. Kevin wanted to buy a statue of. Me. He wanted to Jeff. buy a very expensive statue. My name of Jeff. Ari and as well as some other. <laughs> His name is Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> I didn't even oh. see that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, so I kind of do two things. Uh, I help run the business. I read the scripts. I like flesh out the world, the characters, storylines. You know what things look like. Talk to concept artists. Uh, all that stuff. Yeah, when you see those. That's a lot of cool Funko screen, Pops. Designed by yours truly. I'd. Uh, get handed you know uh, oh this is lamar and it'll have like two pictures of terry cruz or someone and be like there you go smells and like power ends up getting made into a model sheet which is goes off to the 3d modelers to turn into an actual 3d character so basically i make um models in 3d i start with a cube or a spear and i do things i pull things out of it and make it and then it comes out looking kind of cool i uh, make big titty anime can i say big titty yeah. big titty anime girls for glitch yeah <laughs> let's go everything that you see hey you melody has had something to do with it rigging is essentially putting the skeletons into all the characters that you love to watch if someone didn't have a skeleton or the bones um they'd just be a big puddle of goo 
we put the bones in so that the animators can move the bones around and be able to animate them. What do you guys do as animators? We make things that don't move, move. That was a dumbass <laughs> <laughs> from the riggers. Um, oh, my. We, oh, this is a uh, nightmare, Sophia. Like, uh, no, nightmare, uh, Evelyn. Nightmare, Evelyn. Sorry. Quality assure. Uh, everyone's work around the office. So basically, I go in, make sure that everything sort of yep. fits into the main sort of style guide. That is that Thomas? Why? There's like a picture of Thomas on the wall. Why? I'm, I'm saying that I am partially responsible for Victari. Yes. I want to go back and see those memes. I'm gonna. Whoa. Hey, come on. Come on. Building your business online takes effort, and when it's ready for the world to see... Um, beyond that, I also do motion capture, which is basically where we strap a bunch of sensors to our body and we move around and act about the characters. That gets recorded into the computer and we animate from there. Look, nice. Look, working at Glitch is like working at um, Facebook. Kevin is like Mark Zuckerberg. I'm a <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, and they're playing I mean, Smash. Oh my, my God. If, my other jobs I've had. Like for breaks, they just play Smash um, and stuff. That's no cool. Days are exactly the same, which is something I really, really. That appreciate. is so cool. Um, like writing a script. The next, I'll be like brainstorming uh, characters. Uh, the next, I'll be overseeing the concept artist on like what the designs of the environment should be like. My skills have definitely improved with each challenges that's popped up and it's really good to work with these guys because you mm -hmm. learn even more from them we're a pretty small company so like there is quite a lot of learning and responsibility on each individual person in the company mm -hmm. as an artist you gotta you gotta go with the punches you gotta you get critiqued but it's to make you better make you stronger like yeah there's always going to be unforeseen circumstances so you really need to be mm -hmm. able to plan around that and come up with contingencies on how to still deliver the product. I remember, I think it was last year when we were about to film episode 10, I said I was gonna go snowboarding. I did something stupid and managed to hit a tree going extremely fast and I broke my arm in two places. The entire episode oh. 10 is me motion capture acting with an arm that was broken in two places. Matt, who's doing the mocap, for instance, for action scenes, he can't actually do flips and bounce off walls and stuff like that, which is what happens in the show. So we have to like get that interpret what's been done and just really manipulate it to make it look like it does good. Nice. When COVID hit, like we ended up having to work from home for about three months or so. Uh, we had to put a whole heap of infrastructure in place to make sure that people could still do what they needed to do. That was a real like kind of wake up call for all of our skills to come together. Like we actually had to- I see Uber Eats in the background. The town nice. In a situation that wasn't normal. And everyone had to pull their weight and so that, i thought actually that was kind of brought the team together in, in my opinion in the first week or so just to get us back in that you know we're still together kind of uh feeling <laughs> we all posted our home workspaces and you'd have like you know not to toot my own horn or anything but like the really neat ones with you know all nice and set up oh and nice the discord people who would just post memes of like just piles of cans of v and i saw james or whatever and the head writer it was writing Meta Runner season two while at the same time trying to buy an office. So like trying to move a like 15 person company over to a brand new office with renovations and furniture. The and office. As well as trying to Perfect. Entire season of TV show. Uh, that was a pretty tough couple months. Yeah, yeah. So my oh, I just saw Maggie. I just saw Maggie. Definitely be the. I saw Maggie at and, the... uh, and Master in episode 10. Season. That's two. probably so from the Maggie show. Fun to film. We got to have a fight, and yeah, and cutting it together, just watching its progress was absolutely awesome. My favorite section is actually the chibi game that Sophia uses chibi. to explain. Uh, oh yeah, that, the chibi. Uh, mission at Tempest. I'm not sure why. Looks it's like Funko the Pops. Dynamic and not the most interesting and flashy part. I just really enjoyed it. I think for me, I like it, but I also hate it at the same time. The really action-heavy scenes in Hidden Heroes. They're so much fun to do. You get to play around with like extreme poses and like crazy fast movements that we don't yeah. really do in like talking scenes. Probably the end of season two. Um, so like I spent quite a long time, you know, writing uh, that scene because it had a lot of exposition, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of character development, a lot of big twists and turns. Um, I probably spent like a good whole week just on the final few minutes of season two. Um, Hey, what are you doing? I'm editing my video with the War 9. What kind of YouTube videos? I quite like how it turned out. Uh, my favorite character is 
And this is no bias at all. My favorite character is Evelyn. I like Evelyn because she's a bitch. She... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say that. Probably Evelyn. She gets a lot of like. There's a lot of people who don't quite like Evelyn. That's the point. Uh, but at the same time, she's kind of hot. A character that you love to hate. Evelyn is a. Evelyn is not a person. She's a state of mind. She's a really ridiculous person inherently. So anything that I write for her sounds natural coming out of her mouth. Come with me. Evelyn, wait here. Aww, but I want to see the punishment. I said wait here, Evelyn. Fine. She's such a bitch, really but she's cute. That, like, coming into the second season, she was the character with the most, like, dynamic. She had a lot of personality. She had presence on screen. Marco's got to be my favorite character, only because he's got uh, such Mark. a commanding voice. Oh, Marco. An even more commanding moustache. That thing is... <laughs> And season three, yeah, he's no, going to be a big Marco. role in season three, that's for sure. Design. He's got the awesome sort of uh, mech backpack, which has his extra meta runner arms. There's the whole um, backstory between him and Sophia, which I think is awesome. Oh, who's that? That's my son. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Pe Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The journey's really Pepe. Like, it's not Peppa, it's Pepe, Pepe but, but whatever. That first day in uh, Kevin and Luke's first office, when it was just the four of us, seeing how far it's come, especially with the second season, uh, it's been a long journey. We've made a lot of mistakes, like way too many. We've, uh, we've, I can't even begin to like remember. There's so much stuff that's happened in the past three years. We put so much time, so much money and so much effort mm -hmm. into just making Meta Runner alone and just growing this company. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't change it for the yeah. world. Even if things don't work out, we've lots a lot. We know how to oh, oh, that's cute and how they got the kids there and everything. Well. As artists as well, we've learned a lot of things. And look, um, in all honesty, I really... And, it's got, and they got the cosplayers. Oh my god. I'm really proud of what we've made so far. So many kids, we've man. Made, like, we made a full animated series. <laughs> I want to meet them so bad. Of yeah, it's um, and the, the this is amazing. We're, here, we're like a family. Yeah. Uh, like, that is Big, happy that family. I, I don't think I could ever replace... Um, and I think just overall, I'm, I'm so excited what, what's in store for us in the future. I want to make more big titty anime girls. Yeah. Fun as f bro. Yeah. That is fun. Yeah, titty physics. That's what I want now. Yes! Straight yes! Up. The Make best! Honestly, man, uh, I, I just follow you guys. I do what I'm doing. Red-haired girl. I agree with red-haired red -haired girl so much, you man. Come on. What did Jared say to that one? That's a hard question. What's next for me at Glitch is furthering my animation style, like pushing myself. Uh, running future projects. Oh, 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 oh Maggie! 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 He, he said he just wants to improve his skills. Yeah. Oh, really? How selfish. Maggie. Same th same thing Maggie. Like once we've got, like, all Maggie. the animation. Definitely Maggie. And, um, once the channel. Maggie uh, and the Maggie. Gets bigger and Maggie. Bigger, uh, Maggie. You know, video games seems like a pretty cool thing that we could step into. A lot of our guys have a lot of Maggie. already in video games. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Video games Video can games be everything. Are everything. For the That was the first line of uh that sit down. We're gonna finish it all. First line of season one's episode one. Sitting down. Chilling on this couch with two brothers five minutes apart because we're not gay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, nice angry birds shorts. Good journey yeah. so far. Yeah. We hope it doesn't end anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's, it's crazy to think how you and me literally just sitting on here playing Mario. Aww, and that's adorable. Into everything that you saw in this video. Yeah. Uh, we also hope you enjoyed how Meta Runner was made. And yeah, yeah. All the lovely people out. The entire season's out. Um, if you watched it already, if you watched season one and two already, go and watch it again because <laughs> the views really, really do help. It's yeah. like the best way to support us yeah. outside of uh, buying merchandise. Of which you can go check out Metawana.store. Yeah, I want to buy merchandise. I've got money over there, but uh, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna get some help and actually uh, buy some stuff. There is no school because uh, Corona or whatever. So Merry Christmas, guys. Have a happy New Year. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you guys in 2021. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Yep. Mhm. What's that? Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Don't mean with it. Break it. Comedy. Look at comedy. Comedy one hundred.
comedy legend. <laughs> comedy legend. <laughs> comedy legend. The legend 27s and the 28 or whatever you'd like to call it. The legend SMG4 and the legend Kevin. Yes. All right, boys, that's the end of this. This was totally amazing. And yeah, make sure you go subscribe to SMG, uh, SMG4 and go subscribe to Glitch. Make sure you watch the original video. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. It really helps me out. Share the video. If you want to, you can become a member and join. And uh, yeah, 90% of you are not subscribed. So please support. I would appreciate that. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces.